Cote d'Ivoire's Constitutional Council is under intense scrutiny as the nation of 25 million people awaits its decision to approve or disqualify 78-year-old President Alassane Ouattara for next month's presidential election. Ouattara, who had earlier in March this year announced at the National Assembly that he was not running for president to the excitement and jubilation of his opponents, has made an about turn and defended his third term bid, which he claims was provoked by an act of God. After the sudden death of his successor Ahmad Gon Koulibaly on July 8, 2020, at the age of 61. I wish to announce solemnly that I have decided not to be candidate at the presidential election and to transfer power to a young generation. But the opposition was quick to cry foul, declaring that Watara's decision contravenes Article 183 of the new Ivorian Constitution. Talk of Watara's running again sparked clashes earlier last month in Ivory Coast, leaving eight people dead and more than 100 injured. According to Didier of Tornon La Page, or Let's Turn the Page, history, which saw some 3,000 people killed following the 2010 election, is at risk of repeating itself. He also intimated that the Constitutional Council played a role in that crisis. Meanwhile, former rebel leader Guillaume Soro currently in self-imposed exile in France, whose candidacy bid was initially rejected by the Independent Electoral Commission, IEC, has officially entered the race through his supporters who filed on his behalf. Supporters of former President Laurent Gbagbo, also in exile in Belgium, have submitted a candidacy bid on his behalf, with several prominent politicians gunning for the ultimate seat in Ivory Coast including former President Henri Conan Bédier, next month's election promises to be a hotly contested one.